Welcome to a recap of today's Creative Commons open source office hours. We've been live coding on codebuddies.org and we've been continuing our work with the WordPress Gutenberg editor to try to realize uh, a mock-up from Figma. Oops. Should have opened it in another tab. Essentially, though, we're trying to build this page layout using only Gutenberg default blocks. So let's take a look at the progress we've made. We've started with the second section of the page today. After making minor uh, adjustments um, to this top section, I essentially reverted this button um, to just using the default Gutenberg button uh, styles, so meaning rounded edges, and just changing the color to follow the Creative Commons style guide. And that was after an experiment yesterday of trying to apply a CSS style to the button. It uh, didn't quite behave as expected and had some um, renders on a parent containing div and uh, it's a known issue, turns out. And there's a feature request to try to resolve that. So we'll sit back on it and continue our work exploring the capabilities of Gutenberg. So from the mock-up, we essentially have decomposing this to kind of components uh, of, of header, paragraph, and some images that are in columns. And we're not, we agree not to use this kind of staggering, and we have captions on each of those images. Uh, Gutenberg has uh, components for all of those, so we essentially created a column block here a header component, paragraph component, and then I was able to nest a column block within the column block. I'm not exactly sure how I did this. I just basically dragged it and dropped it. Uh, and it looks like you can just, yeah, I could just uh, add, um, you know, below this paragraph, another kind of block type element. In other words, like not an inline element, but a block. And a um, columns is columns block is a block type element I guess and added four columns with four images and four captions uh, it was all pretty straightforward and for more um, insight into the um, full process you can check out the live stream now a couple notes the rendered output is slightly different uh, than Gutenberg as you can see here for example the most of the text is white which is um, the way I've configured the block but the child elements in the block editing interface apparently don't pick up on that parent style, so they rendered by default as a gray text. However, when we switch over to the um, front end, the texts within the block are rendered correctly, except the header, and I believe this header issue is um, inheriting from our CSS, which is overriding, our style of CSS, which is overriding the Gutenberg styles. So I'll have to figure out a strategy for handling that in a, in a follow-up um, session, but there's probably a specific class uh, that I'll be able to zoom in on or something expect to specify, not to override it or something. Ah. No, it's just a regular header level two. Interesting. So we might not want this global setting uh, for the header color. I think that'll be probably the best solution to let um, local changes override the global header color here here's so that's a global setting as I mentioned so it's going to affect other parts of the, the website I'll have to think about it okay that's essentially as far as we got today taking a little bit of a further tour through the Gutenberg editing interface overall it's been a great experience um, and very active development and a lot of people having uh, bumped into issues so I think that makes for a mature project. Again this has been a codebuddies.org live code hangout if you'd like to get involved with this or similar projects stop by codebuddies.org you can participate in hangouts groups and discussions or help develop the codebuddies.org platform on github.com slash codebuddies.
and this has been uh, Creative Commons Open Source Office Hours. The idea here is just to kind of showcase what we're developing and hopefully uh, encourage community engagement and maybe even participation uh, if, there, if we want to have some discussions uh, during these office hours if there's questions about other open source projects or particularly the open source at Creative Commons. Please do stop by the live stream and Code Buddies Hangouts. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.